And yet recently I was flying on a flight. Well, not so recently. It was quite a while ago, actually, from Atlanta home. And flying on this flight, I was sitting in an aisle seat, and there's an empty seat. And then the person against the window, his name was Robert. But he said, Tom, you can call me Bob. I said, great, Bob. Are you going home or going to work? Well, I'm heading home, Tom. And I said, Bob, what do you do? And had some reading material in his hands. And so what he did, he heard the third question, but he paused to answer it. And he put his reading material away, and he slumped back in his seat, and he just dropped his shoulders, released a large sigh, and said in response to my question, he said, Tom, I, uh, I sell insurance, uh, property and casualty. And after talking with Bob for about 10 more minutes, I realized he didn't have a clue what he did. You see, Bob saw himself as a paper pusher. He's the guy that filled out a bunch of policies. And to be quite honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, it wearied him. And what he failed to realize is that he was a man that allowed mothers and fathers to take their children and tuck them in bed at nighttime, pulling a sheet right up under their chin and kissing them on the cheek or the forehead and saying the words, I love you. Sleep well. Because there's a roof over their head. No, you see what Bob does, ladies and gentlemen? He puts families back together, and yet he didn't even get it. He had a noble profession and couldn't live into the value side of it. He didn't even get it. Do you see where I'm going when I say this? What is it that you do? Because that prompts prompts the question of creating a legacy. We really need to delve into the reasons of why we do things.